You know, the Maurice Brown effect, we're, we're playing all over the world, from like all over Asia, you know, Indonesia, um, India, Mexico, France, Italy, Spain, you know, and um, the response has been overwhelming. So I really think it's just about exposure. Every time we hit a place, we got all those people. <laughs> They're going to tell all their people, and then you definitely feel it right after, you know. And also, you know, just more people stepping up and in this uh, particular sound, giving this kind of sound, putting the sound out, you know, more people embracing it and more people composing with this sound, you know, so it's uh, not just a couple of people, it's like a, a movement, more of a movement, and I believe that's what's going on right now, a lot, that's what a lot of people are, are getting into. I think in order to be successful in any line of, uh, in any field, you have to fill a void are be very niche based like all right this when you think of this you think of me you know so right. that's what makes people successful so when people think about you know jazz you know, contemporary jazz fresh jazz new jazz hip-hop and be soul jazz they think of me but at the same time like when they're thinking about oh I need this horn on this track and this hip-hop track they think of me I feel so you, you see what I'm saying how it all comes back because I created that thing for me, for myself, everybody has to create their own plan and just stick with it. You know, like, and I, I'm try, I, try, I tell people all the time, you know, they say, I feel like I'm doing it, everything's in vain. I'm like, nothing's in vain. <laughs> I'm like, you're building your resume right now, you know. And as far as, as the people coming out, I think they just have to have realistic goals, you know, because when I was starting to do this and starting to lead my own gigs, I, I knew right away that I wasn't going to pack orchestra hall. I wasn't going to pack symphony center. So I said to myself, okay, what do you need to do? I said, well, man, I need to bring 50 people everywhere I come. You know, if I can't bring 50 people where I come, then what am I doing? I'm going to play in my house or something and invite a couple cats over. So I worked on that. And then once I started doing that, I couldn't fit in the venues that only could hold us for all the time. So you move up, you know, I have 150 people now. You do that, then you can pack pretty much any jazz club around here. You know, you got that going, you're spilling out the jazz club, you move into the performing arts centers. You know, like it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a, just a, a gradual step that there's no shortcuts, is what I'm saying. And people, especially good musicians, like to sit back and think they deserve something. You know, like, I'm good, so this should just happen. You know, like, <laughs> it doesn't happen that way. I mean, you gotta have some initiative, some fire, some drive, you know. You gotta believe in yourself, because if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else is gonna believe in you, you know? And when you have their attention, you have only, I want everyone's attention. You finally get the world's attention and everyone stops for that one second. What are you gonna say? Yo, it's your boy Maurice Brown, trumpeter and producer, and I rock jazz. <laughs>